All right, this one's gonna be for PS3 owners, more specifically PS3 that's been jailbroken with custom firmware and all that. And so if you ever have a PS3 and you download some of these games, some of these games are like over four gigs and you really cannot transfer it to your USB stick or your USB hard drive without splitting it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split the files and then we're gonna, uh, well, it will automatically merge it once you put it into multi-man and we can actually install the games, right? Uh, the main reason for this is because the PS3 is still using like a, a FAT32 limitations. So we want to, you know, split the files so we can actually transfer it to it. And then from there, we can actually install the game. Anyways, uh, I got a couple of functions here, real simple, right? So I got, uh, let's say for example, we do this PS3 split here. We'll split uh, PKG files. Uh, so we have this Batman Arkham Asylum. This one's about 6.6 .6 gigs here. So we do uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. There we go. And it's going to create a new folder based on whatever the file name is. So we have this one here. And it likes it, uh, the PC likes it in a certain format when you're uh, splitting files. So it has to start out with .66600. Now, if the file is bigger, they'll do like uh, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, you know, uh, until it splits it out in four gigs chunks, right? So we'll let it do its thing, and I'll try to explain what these uh, functions do here. So it's mainly just mainly three functions. So PS3, we have merge, which uh, we're not doing right now. We have the PKG ones that we're splitting. That's the one we just did. Now, we can do ISOs too, but I don't really have any ISOs to try because most of the files here I got is just in PKGs. But I'll tell you what it does here. Uh, give you a little example. So let's say, for example, we're splitting like uh, the Street Fighter 4 ISOs. Uh, the output is going to create a folder based on that name, but also uh, it'll do like a dot zero, one, two, three, four. Now I actually haven't tried this one, but uh, the code is the same. The only thing that's different is the extensions different, like the ISOs and the dot zero you know, dot one, dot two, and all that. But everything else is the same type of code. Uh, anything else in here? As far as the other one, the PKG ones, like I said, it's gonna split out a, uh, so let's say for example, we're putting in like GTA 5 or something like that, PKG file. It's gonna output, um, what was that, uh, GTA 5, it'll create a folder based on it. And it will have a dot, you know, six 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 zero zero uh, zero one zero two zero three, you know, four and five and all that, depending how big the file is and how many times it needs to split itself. Uh, what else is there? And as far as the uh, merging, merge PKG files. So some of these files that you uh, download, it, it might be already split, but it's not split under four gigs. So you still have to like merge it back together and then split it again. So it's kind of annoying, but you have to do it because, you know, like I said, the uh, FAT32 can only do four gigs at a time when you're transferring files. Anyways, uh, with that being explained, um, what else is there? So we have this Batman Arkham Asylum already finished. You see it has the uh, extensions and formats that it, that it likes, all right? And when you transfer this to Multiman, it will automatically uh, merge itself back together because it sees these extensions uh, and it knows that, hey, this is a split file and we have to merge it back together. All right. Uh, anything else I need to explain here? Okay, so for example, let me show you the code here. What is the code? Uh, really, the code is not that hard. It's just basically using... Uh, core util stuff so it's to split the files and some of these other ones I do like a checks so if it's a uh, this one's for ISOs so if there's an ISO image and then uh, it will look for the ISO extensions and it's gonna look for if the file size is greater than four gigs so if it's greater than four gigs it will automatically do the split if it's under that it's not gonna do anything all right so it saves you a little time um, if you try to do like a file that's under, then it's not going to do anything. Uh, this one's for the PKG. It's the same thing. It's just that, like I said, it's a different uh, 
was that file uh, naming so this one's for PKG but like I said the code is the same thing it's just that the output is uh, a little different names right so this one is using the 66600 right uh, anything else in here uh, no, that's pretty much it really so for example like I said uh, some of these files when you download stuff like this uh, PKG for you uh, what's that Yakuza Yakuza 5 here so when you download these these were actually in different parts so this would be part 1 2 3 4 5 6 but you see each file here are over 4 gigs and that's doesn't fit into our um, you know our hard drive that we're trying to transfer to our PS3 so we actually have to merge all of these into one big single file and that's what we did here we merged it to this uh, Yakuza 5 here and this one's about 22.6 gigs here and after you have this one merge you want to split it again to uh, be you know 4 gigs or under so after you merged it you want to split it again okay and then from there you can actually transfer those files as far as how you would transfer the files uh, hopefully you already know that because you know if you have custom firmware you should know how to transfer files and wrap files and all that but if you don't I wrote a little mini guide in here and <laughs> let's do this here uh, split KKG. so these ones up here are just mainly for the command line options here right but if you want to learn how to install the games uh, and stuff like that you need to have uh, was that react PSN install if you don't know where it is uh, this is the link here to the brewology right and the react PSN is just to install rep files and rep files if you don't know what it is think of it like CD keys or uh, activation keys for the games so you do need those ones uh, if it requires it uh, some games don't require it, but most games do the next thing you need to do is to install multi-man multi-man it's well it's kind of like a multi thing you can do with it it has a file manager it can do a bunch of things but basically it's for running the ps3 games right it's to install it and run it right uh, so that's what we're doing here uh, install multi-man so make sure you install those two tools into your ps3 before you begin all these other stuff right anyways um, you do need to have two folders here uh, so uh, make sure you split the games if it requires it uh, otherwise you don't have to split the games if it's under four gigs but you do need uh, when you're transferring this you do need a ex uh, data and this is where you keep your wrap files so all your wrap files you, you want to keep it into this ex data folder as far as the uh, package folder this is where you keep your games so it can be split games or not split games and this is what it should look like when you transfer it to your USB hard drive or flash drive, whatever it is you're using. So the EX data folder, this is where all your wrap files are at, right? And as far as the packages here, uh, this is where all your games should be at. So if you have multiple games, uh, make sure you keep it in different folders. So let's say, for example, Grand Theft Auto 5, you want to keep it in that folder. And then uh, later on, we'll copy this to our internal PS3 hard drive right now when you plug in your hard drive or uh, your USB stick whatever make sure it is the port that's closest to your PS3 uh, Blu-ray drive so that's one's like you know the closest one to the middle that ones will be your um, USB uh, port that you're gonna be using right uh, as far as installing the rep files again make sure you have react PSN installed first right install this thing first and then from there, uh, once you have it installed already, you can do uh, PS3. You go to your PS3, you turn it on. This should be like a user, and then you say uh, create new user, and I'll tell you enter in the name. You want to put the name AA. That is a requirement. It has to be AA. And after that, we switch to that user, right? Or log in as that user. Log in as AA. So you do a PS3 user, and then you select AA, and this will automatically switch to the AA user now once you uh, go activate that AA user it will actually rename itself to like uh, react PSN you know whatever it is it probably have a different name but it usually has like a react PSN whatever it is so it'll automatically rename itself to that 
and after that, um, we are just gonna go to our uh, was that PS3 games, and then you run React PSN, and once you run this, it will actually install all the rap files that's in your USB EX data folder. So you know, put all your rap files into that folder, and then run this sucker, and it will actually uh, install it. Right now, for installing the games. Or actually just transferring but we're gonna install it all afterwards so uh, you want to open multi-man and multi-man should be in like your ps3 games uh, and then multi-man and then once you activate multi-man you know it'll, it'll start multi-man and then you press start and select at the same time this will switch over to a uh, file manager mode it'll look like a, an operating system um, you know kind of like a was that LXDM or something like that? You know, it looks like something like that. And you uh, you have a file manager, and this one's called MMOS. That's just a, a name for the file manager or whatever. MMOS mode here, and then you go to your USB root, so it'll be like slash, right? And then uh, we want to go into our USB drive first uh, because we want to copy the games from our USB to our uh, internal ps3 hard drive so we go to usb packages we highlight the game that we want press o and when to do a copy press x and then uh, from there we're going to navigate to what was that our ps3 root we want to go to the hdd0 this is our internal uh was that the um, ps3 hard drive so we want to copy stuff from our usb to our internal hard drive here and uh, we press O and we do paste and if it yes and this will copy the game it will take a while depending on how big the, the files are All right and when you're transferring these uh, to the, the PS3 hard drive it will automatically merge it together so let's say if you have a file uh, that was at 6660 uh, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 and all that uh, it will actually merge it together and uh, um as far as when uh, the merge files uh once you install it it'll actually delete the merge files and um you know it'll save space and you can actually uh, install the game at the same time right so once uh, it's merged and everything uh all you gotta do is go to find where is that it located now so after it's merged it you go back to the uh, internal hard drive of your ps3 go to whatever game it is highlight the game it'll be like in dot pkg format um and then just click x on it a few times and then uh it'll actually probably click kick you out of uh multi-man so it'll kick you out of the multi-man program and it'll kick you back into your ps3 xmb right and from there you go to ps3 games and then go to package manager and then uh you know install package files and uh since we're doing standard we do standard and then we click on was this one here the whatever game it is that PKG and you click on install and you wait a long ass fucking time I still can't believe that console game is more more specifically a PS3 owners the game install is fucking ridiculous and I'm not talking about like 20 minutes I'm talking about like three hours minimum you know fuck some of these games that I install like uh, it takes forever it can probably take a day depending on the game it is you know I'm like this is fucking amazing that people put up with this shit but anyways uh, that's how you do uh, the install process now I, this one I did try I installed it with the uh, PKG ones as far as the ISOs ones I don't have any ISOs to try but it should be similar uh, the merging one uh, I did read it on a tutorial so I'm gonna trust that person to do that but uh yeah, you can merge it and then you split it again and then you can install it. Again, I haven't tried those other two really well because the fucking PS3 takes forever to install and I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it should work because it's based on an existing tutorial. Although I made it a little bit simpler with all these functions. All you got to do is, you know, plug in a, a file name or multiple file names and it'll split it automatically or merge it depending on what it is. Anywho, uh, hopefully you understood all that. Um, this one is mainly just a recap for myself. I mean, you can you can watch a, a tutorial on 
YouTube that'll show you like visually how it do is done. But this is just a quick reminder for myself. If you want to use this in there, right? Not that hard. It's kind of like a mini man page. Anywho, uh, anything else I need to explain here? As far as the merge command, really, we're just using cat, right? We're we're using cat to merge it all into a single file. All the other ones is just using a split command. Uh, everything else will be in the description. And this one is only for PS3 owners, all right? So you, you don't want to use this for anything else. Anyways, everything else being the show notes. That's it for this one.